Hey, what's up guys? This is John Spear with Warhammer. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today we are going to be going over what a one line is, what it does, what you're going to use it for, and how to read it. So this is a very s simple one line diagram that we have gotten. So in this particular case, in this building, which has four floors, um, in this one it is saying that the existing which would be the E thousand amp vertical bus which is a busway that goes all the way up um, all floors that has a thousand amps and then on each one of those floors there's a circuit breaker that goes like you know 100 200 300 amp type of disconnects that you basically plug onto the actual bus itself. So it's saying from that 200 amp uh, disconnect that's going to be located on the bus that it is going to panel uh, 4L which is a 125 amp as you can see right here and it is carrying uh, 480 volts and 277 so is three phase four wire system that is Y connected. Um, from here it is saying that all these particular wire runs are already done and completed. It is um, conduit and conductors are to remain. So you know we don't have to do anything to that. It's just um, a diagram basically showing us the route that it's taking currently. Um, from point A to point B so it basically goes from this panel which is a 480 hits a 75 kVA transformer which is existing comes out of that feeds a 400 amp main circuit breaker which is um, a panel that has uh, in this particular case a 400 amp main breaker versus an MLO which I don't see one in here but an MLO Mike Lima uh, Ohio is gonna be a uh, main lug only which is in, uh, in its essence just a, a lug system that doesn't have a disconnect it's relying on the disconnect from um, said panel prior to it to feed it so this one is a 400 amp main circuit breaker meaning it has a main breaker to shut off the buses that are located in this panel section it's a two section panel so um, if I were to guess it would be a line load system so line coming into the main breaker and then uh, lugs coming out to feed section two. So it is saying that all of this is to remain, nothing to do here. And then for the one that we're looking at is the intercept and extend this 100 amp feeder and relocate it to the CR location which I'll show you guys in a second but it currently has four number ones and one number eight and an inch and a half conduit so if you want to take a look at it it's gonna do so here's CR1 um, on the demo plans it's currently located over here this is a secure area so Basically everything in this area would have to be internal, but um, you'd basically want to intercept it right here in this location and extend it over here. Now let's take a look at the demo plan so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So as you can see right here on E146 as a reference point, which would be the stairs, it is like on the third stair. So. So we were to go back down to the legend Ooh, past it here we go it's actually located right here uh, currently so we'd be extending from here 
to here with an inch and a half conduit with four number ones and uh, number eight if I'm not mistaken but we can double check and a number eight ground so that is basically in a nutshell the one line diagram um, if you guys have any questions I would be happy to answer any of them um, once again, my name is John Spear with Warhammer Electric, and I hope this little video helped you understand what a one-line diagram is and what it does and what it's for. Um, just as a, another little fun fact, if you wanted to see any panels um, located right here, they should be all located on your panel schedules right here which will give you an even more detailed um, solution here you know so you know like this one saying the feeder size 200 it's a copper bus it's surface mounted and it's a NEMA 1 you know which is all important information to know but you know if you want more detailed information on this versus the one line the one line will give you a little bit of information um, basically what feeds what your panel schedules i'll tell you what's feeding the other parts of the branch circuitry which is good to know and then you can usually just try to find um, something that simulates just like a very rudimentary rectangle in a room and that's typically going to be your um, electrical room like this. this is a perfect and what these little cubes are uh, trying to show you is that this is the space required around this panel that is needed which is going to be three feet in front of it so nothing can be three feet in front of this area so just as a, if you ever see one of these little dotted lines in front of a panel, that's what that is. Um, like I said, my name is John Spear, Warhammer Electric. I hope you guys like this little video. Please like and subscribe below. Um, you know, I'm very happy that you guys took the time out and watched this video. It means a lot to me and I really appreciate it. And uh, if you can follow that up with a nice like and subscribe, I would really dig that as well, you know. So, um, we do have an Amazon store, so feel free to check that out. There's a bunch of cool little things. Um, even some uh, Star Wars chopsticks. They're pretty badass. They even light up and everything. Um, hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.